I would like to invite my old friend Adam from the Dorset Concierge to come up. And here we go. Adam. Thank you very much. Hi guys, I'm Adam from the Dorset Concierge. I'm very proud to sponsor the uh, most inspiring boss and uh, good luck to all the entrants. Right. Our runner-up is Helen Stacy of Aspire Jobs. The winner is Shelley Algar of The Workshop. Let's move on to the Independent Business of the Year category. Right, Independent Business of the Year. The winner is With Grace. Nearly a year since I've been with Grace in High Street and I've loved every minute so far. Really appreciate this, means absolutely the world to me. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to the first Real Business Awards, excited to be here and especially for us I think New Business of the Year um, is a fantastic award and one that we're really proud to present because actually Nick and I took over our business 18 months ago so huge congratulations, put your hands together for Meraki Hair Design. We have now come to Cafe, pub, and casual dining. Uh, the man who was embarrassed to be on the video and uh, went very, very ready, very, very shy. Uh, but if I could invite John from uh, NFU, please come and join us. I'm just glad you didn't show any of the outtakes. <laughs> the is amazing. The staff are all fantastic. Thank you so much. There's only going to be one winner after a review like that, and that is Frampton's Bar. <laughs> that long so this is for all the staff that have been um hospitality is very understaffed and overworked but our staff are absolutely fabulous so this one's for all of them front of house and of course back of house that no one sees as well and now we move on to best place to work and uh, we've already been up once gary can you come up again right we have a winner and a runner-up in this category as the judging was so close Happy staff make happy and productive workers. The runner-up is the Affinity Group. Everybody speaks. Well, thank you, what an honour. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, the Affinity Group is a group of accounting companies. Um, we knew that to attract the best talent, we had to have a great work environment. Thank you. The judges felt this business was a shining example of one that achieved a great work-home balance. A family-owned business, the judges said this clearly made a difference in the management outlook and flexibility towards their staff. And the winner of Best Place to Work is Halo Design Associates. <laughs> Um, I think, you know, owning and running a business for maybe, what, almost two years, we've made huge changes to the team and everything, the way that we work, but that's to put those team members first. Um, and I'm super proud of this. For us, this is the biggest accolade we could get. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now we are moving to 
Family Business of the Year, and it's sponsored by Ellis Jones Solicitors. So, brilliant. Okay, so again, as the votes were so close in this category, we have a winner and a runner-up in, in this one. The runner-up is a hospitality business in Ringwood with a strong family team working together to deliver great results in customer service and food. And the runner-up is the seller. The winner is Eden Funeral Directors. Well, I'm just amazed to be honest. I think in all my years, I know you, I know you, and you probably know me as well. I don't think I've ever heard of an undertaker. Get the ball. Yeah, thank you. Really unexpected. Um, genuinely, very surprised. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Next, we have uh, business to business, business of the year, sponsored by. Uh, Dawson Group Finance. There we go. Pass the one over to uh, Dan. Dan or Dan. And the winner is Entrust IT. Hey. <laughs> Right, well, I'm actually genuinely very surprised, um, but it feels great to, to have this award, so thank you. You know, very tricky to be, uh, to be successful in business with all the, the headwinds we see, but um, to be able to have this award and to feel like we're, you know, things are really turning around, I, I hope that it's the same for everyone, and thank you very much. Uh, business Innovation, and there is the envelope. Lovely, thank you, Nigel. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Jaylush HR and Training. Um, I worked out when I was walking over here today that actually Jaylush has been in Ringwood for 20 years. So. Uh, We've been in existence for 21 years, but moved to Greenwood 20 years ago. This is down to the Jewish team. Uh, some of three or three of my team are here today, from the most junior to the most senior, actually contributes to pretty much everything that we do. So uh, thank you, team, who are here today, and uh, thank you, everyone, for the support. That young entrepreneur, that's the winner. This is the winner. Okie dokie. And the winner is Jack Rootledge of Champion Barber. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I'm honoured. Uh, like the lady mentioned before, I think I wouldn't be able to do any of this without a great team around me, so it's got to go out to them as well. Thank you, guys. Uh, we now have Rising Star. So, again, it is sponsored by Total Guide 2. Rising Star. And the winner is Nicholas McGee of A1 Insurance Group. Uh, well, it's an honour. Um, I didn't know about this right until the last minute, so it's a bit of a surprise for me. Um, I'm surrounded by a, a, a great team, but also great mentors. Um, so yeah, this goes out to them, so thank you very much. We now move on to excellence in customer service, another key point, and the sponsor here is the workshop. Here we go. Um, for me, um, I think customer service is the key, and that's the reason I want to sponsor this. 
The winner is Lonsdale Wealth Management. Um, just you know, again, teamwork from from the minute the phone's answered by by Maggie or Harry um, to once we get you out the door and retired. Um, uh, Maggie, Harry, thank you, and my colleague who's not here, Howard, um, who's definitely focusing on clients. So, thanks very much. Eleven plus, uh, and in this category we have a runner-up and a winner. Um, so, uh, so could we have the mortgage connection up? Yeah, we're all, there you are. Again, we have a winner and a runner-up, as the judging was very close. The runner-up <coughs> is a collection of companies with a professional service sector with combined experience. The runner-up is the Affinity Group. But yeah, I mean, we've grown massively. So we were 35 people three years ago, and now we're we're actually nearly 90. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the team will be made up with this. We'll have a big celebration. Thank you. Business of the year, 11 plus staff, top of their game, and a very worthy winner. The winner is Smarter Technologies Group. Oh, wow, wasn't expecting that. Um, thank you very much. Um, we end up working all over the world, but we've always understood that Ringwood is the centre of the universe. But what we also ask the judges to do is vote for their favourite, second and third. So the one they put as their favourite to be the overall winner. The runner-up in overall business of the year is... <laughs> Eden Funeral Directors. Oh. This is amazing. I mean, think after just sitting here this afternoon, I mean, we've been in Ringwood for years, and um, um, yeah, it's just such an honour, isn't it, knowing how many people are just providing such great service. And, so, yes, it's a great honour. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> The overall winner then, surprisingly, it's not Ringwood Town Correct Count, so I don't know why. It's, <laughs> uh, it's Smarter Technologies Group. Oh.